By the end of 1941, the free French ground forces in the Middle East had been reorganized into two brigades and placed under the British Eighth Army. A small contingent also joined the newly formed Special Air Service and soon distinguished itself in raids on Axis airfields. General Marie-Pierre Koenig's first free French brigade became the first French ground unit to engage the Germans in battle since the disastrous summer of 1940. Koenig was a tough, no-nonsense soldier and the bulk of his force was from the Foreign Legion. By spring 1942, the British were holding a defensive line running south from Ghazala in eastern Libya and preparing to mount another offensive against Rommel and his Axis forces. The defences consisted of a number of fortified boxes. The southernmost, based at Bir Hakim, was held by the Free French. This was protected by extensive minefields and barbed wire. The garrison was also well equipped with field and anti-tank guns. But like the other boxes in the Ghazala line, it had a major weakness. The box to its north was too far away to support Bir Hakim with artillery. General Koenig and his men were effectively isolated, with an open desert flank stretching away to their south. Soon they faced a crisis, because Erwin Rommel, the Axis commander, got his attack in first. On the night of the 26th of May, he sent his panzers round the south of the Gazala line. Within 24 hours, they had got astride the 8th Army's lines of communication, creating increasing confusion in the British rear. Bir Hakim was totally cut off. The Italian Trieste Armoured Division and the German 90th Light Division attacked the Free French box, but failed to make much headway. Rommel was forced to send back his crack 15th Panzer Division to help them. The odds did not look good. But the Free French were well dug in and determined to hold on for as long as their ammunition and supplies held out. The Axis armor was allowed to approach to point-blank range before being engaged. Every attack was repulsed. Eventually, after two weeks, with ammunition and food growing desperately short, Koenig was given permission to break out. He did so on the night of the 10th of June bringing 2,700 of his 3,600 men to safety. Any doubts about the courage and determination of the free French had been totally dispelled. They had proved themselves true gladiators. 